Hey everybody, today I got a brand new deck. I said I was going to play Skellige, but I decided to play some Nilfgaard instead. I think Nilfgaard has some new interesting cards. I'm still having to relearn a lot of the stuff in it, so I'm going to make some misplays. I'm going to call them out, some of them. But for the most part, I'm really excited for some of the weird, wacky things Nilfgaard can accomplish. So without further ado, we're going to go into a game. First off, we got a Henselt. <laughs> Um, the main combo of this deck is uh, Cantarella, in, well, you reveal a Cantarella in your hand and then you set it to one strength with one of the elites. So I gave one of my, my opponent an elite, they just played it for some reason. I do not know precisely why. Now when you're playing reveal, make sure to reveal the cards in your opponent's hand first before pulling out the golems. Now I know that my, like, there was no way I was going to know that he had the uh, Burning Roach right off the bat. Now the reason why I'm playing my Elites now is so that I can say, um, so if the, my opponent decides to play his revealed units, they don't disappear immediately. Now I didn't have three Elites in the final version of this. Now. When you make that decision, that was really a 11 strength play with the bronze unit, which is adequate in my opinion. The main deal is your opponent doesn't want to play a one strength unit because it's low tempo. And it also means they have weaker choices in the end. Now I revealed the Cantarella and I revealed another one of their units. It was unfortunately not a unit I wanted to reveal. So I did make a few mistakes in this game. Most notably, I just played this round down too long and let my opponent start building up greater and greater points when I didn't need to. I already had a huge advantage because of some of the plays I had made earlier. Okay, I see a really good Letho play. This prevents him from pulling it his other ones out with um, his leader ability, and it also gives me a good meno play later. My opponent was unfortunate with his witchers, which is going to help me a little bit in this game. I'm going to go put out the golem. It's kind of ridiculous what uh, you can accomplish in this game with these cards, because he can just keep playing these cards and just boom shoot me over and over and over again. Kind of ridiculous. I'm going to actually help him shoot me some more. I got a Spotter. Spotter is also really good with Cantarella, but of course you don't want to set your Cantarella down to one strength. I've made a lot of misplays with the Spotters. Like ordering them and organizing things. Because your opponent's going to play around the fact that you can see their hand. Most of the time. I'm, like, if my opponent plays the uh, weather card, then I'm kind of like, okay, well, then let's pass. Kind of thing. That's what's going through my head. I kind of put myself in a um, pickle. But fortunately, I can keep pulling cards. The biggest weakness of this archetype would be the fact that um, if you just draw into a spotter or an elite on the last round, and that's the only card in your hand, it's completely worthless. I would also recommend not setting Cantarella down to one strength until you have to. The reason being is that you can use her as a spotter uh, target, because you get a 15 strength spotter out of that, which is pretty good. And since this deck is only 25 cards, it's pretty easy to get all the cards you want, because you empty your deck with, from the golems and you empty your deck from the... Um, The footman. Okay. Reveal the last card. See if I get a good option. I do. I decide to be kind to my opponent in this game and end it off as a draw. Now the game's accelerated space, but I did my calculations. Like if I had picked the special card in his hand, I would have won without causing a tie. Because um, the elites get nine strength if they um, target a special. 
Uh, and the 10 strength bronze is below average, but it's still, you know, it's not terribly below average. Our second game is up against Skellige. So we had a Henselt, now we have King Bran. In the previous game, our opponent misjudged the amount of power we had available to us and thought that we couldn't have won, but we did. Uh, one of the uh, benefits of the card he keeps sending to the graveyard, Ooh, that was a strong coral. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to reveal my Cantarella. I actually forgot that Letho does not um, destroy, uh, doesn't banish anymore, and just destroys, and that caused me to make misplays this game. So pardon, pardon that. One of the reasons why I did um, I hit Cantarella early is because my opponent still has um, what do you call it? Uh, Uld. Ulgirt in his hand. So if I do draw into another um, spotter or uh, elite, I can always delete that. Okay. I just tried to decide to uh, take a rip. I know that this unit's going to get destroyed. Um, so you could argue that that was a mis misplay by my part, but I wanted to get rid of his um, ability to decoy. immediately. Uh, okay, I'm just going to play that. The reason for it is that it put golems into my opponent's deck and messes up his draws, which is great, in my opinion. Okay, I got a Cantarella, which is good with Spotter. Don't really need to have it with Spotter because I think he still has an uh, Uld Ulderic in his hand. Yeah, he does. I should, uh, um, if I'm careful, I'll, yeah. I think the reason why I didn't play um, Spotter immediately is I knew that he was going to respond by putting armor on his guys. Okay. Now I know that he's trying to uh, lump me up in all the same row. I'm going to start spreading out. I decided I didn't want the shrooms because I didn't think of any good targets for it. Uh, and I do not have a good target for uh, my Elite, which is one of the reasons why it is not a great card in the final round and what makes this deck difficult to use. So here I make another misplay, uh, in my opinion. I think I can win this round. Um, so you see how Letho's only 11 strength? If I had played him on my side of the board, he would have been 12 strength. It's only a one point sacrifice. One of the benefits of doing it is that it weakens any cards that um, pull onto my side of the board because it's one less unit on my board. So it ends up being even just because of how uh, Skellige works right now. Okay, our final game is against Nilfgaard, so we're getting a lot of variety today. No Scoia'tael. I have beaten Scoia'tael with this deck, uh, partly because hand buffing is popular and um, the elites ruined that entire strategy. Okay, I'm going to pull out the golem first just in case. Against Nilfgaard, I'm actually afraid I'm legitimately afraid of Nilfgaard because I can't use my operator combo. There's there's enough Nilfgaard players right now that I am scared. Okay. That actually messes up my combo. He got really lucky and spotted my um, foot soldier. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take advantage of my Cantarella now. Uh, 
play a Cynthia. I was unfortunate with my Cynthia. Could have should have played it earlier. So I only got I got a really weak Cynthia off. Cynthia really should be your first play. Okay, now I feel comfortable in using my Operator because I have no good targets for his the elite I had put in his hand. And he decides to use it on my Cantarella, which is perfectly fine. Now I'm going to weaken his Tybor. Weakening the Tybor actually causes him to have a really weak play um, later because the Tybor will still draw me a card, I believe. Okay, I'm going to push out the foot, um, the foot shoulder. I have a kind of a bad situation here because I can't see all the cards in his hand. One of the things that you need to keep... Um, you have to keep in mind when playing against... <laughs> this is one of the weaknesses of... Um, I should have weakened that card down with to one with the um, elites. It would have been a lot more points than copying it strength with a spotter. Yes, I can get the um, elites to um, take nine points out of the specials. Right now, you can see that I'm putting all my cards on different rows. That's just to deal with the fact that there's a last right. Now that he has three units on his board and I'm not worried about him having uh, a counter to... Okay, I get to draw a card. It's a 20 point play, but I get drew a card, so his Tybor is significantly weaker than it would have been. Okay, now I know he still has a last rate. I have a lot of different options here. I'm going to hit the biggest units because they're not going to... Um, you want to maximize how many points you get from the storm by not having any one strength units get ticked for one damage. So I win. It was a close game. I hope you guys enjoyed.